sweet potato souffle. I know everyone's scared of souffles, but let me just tell you, they're very, very easy to make. You just need a good recipe. So here's what we're going to do. I'm starting off with some warm milk, okay? And then whatever yep. spices you like in your sweet potatoes, go ahead and add it. I've got some ginger, some allspice, some nutmeg, cinnamon's also really good, all of those spices. So add that to a little bit of milk and just warm it up. Whisk it with your whisk and you'll see all of those flavors start coming together. And then we thicken it with a little cornstarch. Okay, so you throw your cornstarch in and then you're gonna have to cook this out for about a minute or two, right? It's very, very quick and it'll come up no. to the boil. Don't spill it everywhere no like easy. me. easy. And stuff that everyone has, you know, obviously for all the other stuff they've been doing during the holidays. That's right, exactly. And then what you do, once that sort of starts to thicken, it's gonna look a little more like this one. So I'll flip it over so you get to see it gets thick like that. And that's yeah. when you add in your sweet potato. Right, so go ahead. This is just a sweet potato puree. And if yours was if yours was a chunky one, just throw it in the blender for a minute and that'll thin it out. You mix that into your base. And then I sweeten it with a little bit of brown sugar, like that, and a little bit of butter, right? You toss that in together, stir it all up, and then just let it cool. So once it's thickened, turn, off, turn it off the heat and then just let it sit there to cool and it will look just like this. All right, so this Beautiful. becomes your souffle base. The only other thing that you really need to do, Rach, is take egg whites and sugar and you whisk them, right? So this is only, um, what do we use, Vanessa? Seven or eight eggs? Ten. Okay, so ten egg whites in here with just maybe a quarter of a cup of sugar. You whisk it until it stiff peaks. Take about a third and just mix that through and you don't have to worry about uh, being gentle at this stage. We're going to do that in a moment. So you just get in a little bit more volume into the base. You voluminize in your, your uh, souffle base, Rach. So you just take your time with this one. You throw it, dump in the rest of the egg whites, and then you literally just lift in from bottom to top and just turn in your spatula. It's called folding because you want to keep the integrity. You want to keep all that volume from the eggs, but you also want to make sure you don't have any large pockets. So don't rush. You know, it's not, you can still mix it a little. It's okay. You know, you, you just want to basically keep as much of the, um, as, as much of the volume as you can. So what we do now is we take a little mold. Now you can use a souffle dish. I've got these little pots. I brush them with butter. And when you brush it with butter, make sure you brush it in, in strokes that go up the dish. And that's going to help the eggs to, um, to, to, to sort of, uh, yeah, they actually will help the eggs to rise. So then I then I throw some sugar in and see how I pour all the sugar out as I turn the mold. And you pour it right back out. Wonderful. Right, so think about the shape of a, a grain of sugar. It's like a little round shape. So they're like little balls that just allow those eggs to pass right up really easily. Yeah, so they're like little ball bearings. Up. They're sweet little exactly. ball bearings. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious little ball bearings. So then you go ahead and you fill up your molds like this and you fill them all the way to the top, you smooth them out, and then you throw them in the oven. It really is that simple. So gorgeous, and what? And it's such a presentation, it's such a jaw dropper when people see a souffle that just comes out. Right, so that's it. It goes in the oven like this, 12 minutes, and I've got some semi-whipped cream that I'm gonna flavor, just for you, John, with a little bit of bourbon. You could use whiskey, you could use Baileys, and then I'm pouring a little bit of vanilla essence, and you whisk those two things together. My wife is a single malt drinker, so I, I tend to put a little bit of whiskey into lots of different things. That, And you know what? It's just that little bit of flavor. Mm, it's so, so mm. good. Okay. We're almost there on the souffle. So I'm just going to pull them out so you get to see it. But basically, Honey, 12 minutes after the season. He just made the boozy cream. Did someone say whiskey? Yes, he just made the boozy <laughs> whiskey to go on top of the souffles. I was like, you know what? This will get Rach some brownie points if she makes it for you, because it's yet, really he, delicious. We just got him to cross about 35 feet of living room to come back to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I am honored. Look how beautiful. Mm. Oh, those are gorgeous. Are they sweet? Those are and then you amazing. just put the big It's not fair that they're on the other side of a screen. I can't eat that. You want to go there and then now. You just I want to be there now. Break through that little shell. Look at that. Oh, Perfectly look cooked. at oh, that. Absolutely Whoa. delicious.